Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel today in Critical Legends. I'm gonna go over my three favorite class builds. Of course, these are just my own opinion. Comment down below your own favorite builds. I would love to see what you guys are using. And in this video, I won't cover how to get the classes themselves. There will be links down below to previous videos I uploaded on how to get those. And that's just so this video isn't super duper long but I will go over how to get every passive and active I talk about. I highly recommend using the Time Grinders Relic. If you guys don't know what this is, basically if you go to the virus boss, talk to the statue, and complete the task they have for it, you will get a permanent fourth passive known as Time Grinders. And what these do is basically splits every orb's damage into three, dealing 50% of the original orb's damage, but in total, you're actually getting a 50% damage buff in a sense. Let's get into the three build. We're starting with King of the Underworld, cause that's what I got on on right now. So for your stats, you're going to want 200 points in HP and 600 points in damage. In the very first passive slot for this build, I really, really recommend using Wonder of You. This is craftable in the legit shop. It is very, very hard to obtain, but it is definitely worth it and it makes this build crazy. I also recommend using Infernal Demon God Armor, but this is limited and not many people have it. So the regular Demon God Armor that comes from the legit shop definitely works. Now, if you don't have Demon God Armor at all, you could always use something like Soul Reaper Knife due to the fact that it has massive damage, also from legit shop. And you could also do Fighter Spirit the World, also from legit shop because this also gives you massive damage, but demon god armor is always going to be your best option. In the last slot, you're going to be using Blub's Crown. This is needed for this build. If you guys don't know how to get Blub's Crown, basically what you got to do is buy 250,000 Blub pizzas. Once you buy the 250,000 pizzas, talk to Raddy, and then there should be a dialogue option that pops up. Just say I am, and then you should get the pizza. In your actives, what you're going to want to use is Bloodshed. If you don't know how to get Bloodshed, it comes from the Red Crystal boss above the legit shop just fight this guy until he drops it next i highly recommend using dark burn scroll if you want to get this come to this chest at the punky sky very very easy to obtain this and then in your final slot what i recommend you use is the alpha rune now the alpha rune is a limited item that is only available through trade or chaos presence so if you can't get this i recommend using jingle bells this is also limited, and I'm just mentioning this one in case you happen to have it instead of Alpha Rune. But if you have none of those, you could always use Hardening. What Hardening does is give you invincibility for 10 seconds and a 30% damage buff. The way to get Hardening is unfortunately fighting the Lava Golem raid boss. It is a very low drop chance, but I did get one or two of them from rebirthing, so do keep in mind that's always an option. Anyways, let's show off this build in combat. Basically, what's very good about this is it's a massive burst damage. This isn't a very long fight type build. This build is designed to go in there, do a lot of damage really quickly, and then finish off the fight, because you are a relative glass cannon with this unless you're using hardening because hardening of course gives you that invincibility but overall this is one of the best and my favorite damage build in the game besides the one i'm going to mention after this build number two is also going to be a damage based class and of course we're going to be talking about the beta 0.25 sword same amount of health points and same amount of damage points should work for this build Anyways, in the very first slot, you're going to want either Demon God Armor or you're going to want Infernal Demon God Armor. And then in the next slot, you're actually going to want Demon Cell. Demon Cell comes from the Black Market Trader. And then next, you're going to want Blub's Crown yet again. Blub's Crown is just absolutely busted in this game. Now, for your actives in the first slot, you're absolutely going to want to be using Hardening. You're absolutely going to want to be using Dark Burn Scroll. It is just so good. And you're absolutely also going to want to be using Alpha Rune. Now, if you don't have Alpha Rune, you could always use Jingle Bells again instead. If you don't have either of those, you can maybe even use the Rage Scroll. It's literally from the chest right in front of spawn. And if you have none of those, you could even just do Bloodshed to get even more Orb Spam in. Anyways, what's so good about this build is the fact that it's capable of spawning in a ton of orbs very quickly due to using Demon Cell, and you still get a ridiculous amount of damage buffs because Demon God Armor plus Blub's Crown equals like a ridiculous amount of damage buffs, and you're going to be shredding pretty much every single boss in the game with no problem. Hardening comes in handy because of the fact that you're using very little health for this build, if you want to be even more risky, you can do no points in health and all points into damage, 
while using hardening because again you are invincible for 10 seconds but the problem is as soon as the 10 seconds is up and you're running full glass you are very very weak to anything and have a very high chance of dying very quickly let's get into the final build of the video and this is a build that i have covered on my channel before but i have to mention it again because it is one of my favorite and this is the classic death ray build now for the death ray build you're also going to want to put 200 points into health and you're going to want to put everything else into magic now the passives that you're going to want to be using for this build is going to be also wonder of you and then you're going to really really want the frosty demon god armor unfortunately this is only available through trade right now i think you can get it from rebirthing as well but i'm not fully confident on that someone correct me down below if i'm wrong if you don't have frosty demon god armor you can maybe use skulls memory it basically gives you 444 magic it is very very good a better option is going to be the tree of the other world this gives 900 magic and this is going to be from the dryad boss above the legit shop this guy right here and then you can maybe even do strength saga this comes from the black market because it gives you 400 magic but overall your absolute best option in this slot is going to be the frosty demon god armor and then you're also going to want to be using her staff if you don't know um, how to get her staff you need seven eternal stacks and then all you have to do is go talk to this npc and they will give it to you very very easy and it is absolutely insane for your actives what you're going to want to be using is jingle bells in the first slot if you happen to have it because it is limited if not alpha rune also works really well in that first slot the next slot absolutely going to be using dark burn scroll this is like needed for this build and then in the last slot i do recommend using love heal scroll love heal scroll is bought in the shop just like on the counter very 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 easy to get it and this is probably my favorite overall build in the entire game or at least one of them very fun to use massive amount of damage and huge cps but again only problem is you are a bit of a glass cannon as you guys probably noticed all of these builds are relatively glass cannon that's because for the most part glass cannon builds seem to be the most powerful because if you're good enough at the game and you can dodge all the attacks and just put everything into offense you're going to be way 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 more powerful Anyways, guys, that is my video on my three favorite class builds. I know I promised a video on Candy Corn, Great Sword, Tier 4. I just haven't done that yet. I do have the stuff for it. So do look out for that later this week. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It was a lot of fun to make. Subscribe for more. Like the video if you did enjoy. Comment down below your own crazy builds. I'd love to see them. And I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.